it uh, started in 2004, as far as I can remember. Uh, I had known about Sai Baba before. I had heard about Sai Baba before, but not too much, as one of the great masters of India. But uh, in 2004, uh, accidentally, it was not even a planned thing, one uh, journalist invited me to, invited to interview me for, uh, if I remember right, it was Star TV those days uh, in, uh, in Gujarat. So I, I was working in the Middle East at that time. I had finished my stint in Iraq and I had come back to India. And Amukheru had started already in 2003. So I was asked to be asked to speak or uh, the interview was about the Indian philosophy in management. I went for the interview. The interview started, the filming was uh, at uh, Beachside. And uh, next to the beach where the car was parked, car park and uh, the entrance into the beach, there was a small Sai Baba temple. At, at that point in time, I did not know much about Sai Baba. It was a very small temple and uh, somebody had lit a lamp. That's about it. I don't think there are any pujas or worships going on there. Big size murti. So I bowed down to Sai Baba. I, this is my habit. Whenever I see an idol or uh, a master's picture, I always bow down. I pay respects. So I bowed down. I touched the feet of Baba and I started the program. The filming was in the beach. And after this filming, I came to Bombay. And those days, 2003, 4, those times, whenever I come to Bombay, I used to go to Giri Traders in Matunga and pick up some books. So this time, I don't know why, but when I went to the shop, the shopkeeper knew me. Uh, there was one lady, she knew me, and she used to tell me these are the new books. Uh, so she told me there are a collection of books which have come and uh, you might be interested to look into it. So I looked at it, I said, I don't want all this. Give me one Sai Sacharita, story of Sai Baba. So she gave it to me, and that time it was probably 20 rupees or 30 rupees, very, very cheap. Uh, all the other books were much more expensive. This is 2004 I'm talking about. So uh, I took the book, started reading, and I came to Kerala, to my parents' house, and I, I was continuously reading it. About 14 chapters or 15 chapters later, I'm getting a call from Mumbai. One of our associates for Amukher, she was trying to do some things in uh, Mumbai f to help children and uh, to support children and uh, to distribute food, etc. She said, uh, I have arranged an, uh, an interview with Times of India for you, and uh, can you come? So I was a bit reluctant. In fact, actually, that time money was also a very bit tight. I did not have a lot of uh, spare money to travel and flight fares are expensive. So I was saying that you can do the interview. You can tell them about what you do, what is Amukher, why should I come? But she insisted I should come. So I decided to go uh, and I told her one thing. After this uh, interview in Times of India, please book a uh, bus for me to go to Shirdi. And I had not completed the book as yet. So she said that can be arranged. And I uh, completed the interview uh, uh, and, and the bus was in the evening, seven o'clock or so. And I reached Shirdi uh, very late. Uh, it was not seven o'clock, I think it was four o'clock or so. I reached Shirdi anyway for, before, the, before they closed the temple. It was very late. I ran into the temple and, and this uh, lady who was arranging the, uh, the bus also said, can I come with you? I said, come over. So we, will, we went together and uh, I ran into the temple as if I knew the place and uh, those days the, the crowd was much less. So I could just enter the space, Arati was on, I just sat down and my entire body started having vibration as if somebody came and hugged me. I, I believe Baba hugged me. It was like a welcome. And it was such a, such a great feeling. I can't even explain how that feeling was. And all I could tell Baba, I looked around and I saw a lot of people. So all I could tell Baba was, Baba, all these people have come to see you. Bless them all. That's the only prayer I could do. And uh, I bowed down and then the uh, program was over, I left. That was my first experience with Baba. And uh, that, impression stayed with me. 
Then of course I went back home and uh, that, the, that story ended there.